Hi guys, welcome back to Bone Warrior 2 Reacts. Tonight we are going to be watching an awesome, uh, well, it, the last one was awesome, so uh, it's from Cinematic uh, Captures and it's not a lone Star Wars short film. Uh, if you like these uh, videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like, and obviously comment what video you would like me to react to. So just put a link, uh, title, but mainly link uh, below so then I can go to the video and react to it. But other than that, guys, let's get into it. It's a Star Destroyer. It's looking pretty nice. Looks really sweet and nice. Oh, sorry. I do. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> No, other than that, it looks really nice in that, and I really wish it... I, for me, I love little smaller Star Wars stories. Uh, sometimes I... Sometimes Star Wars is its best when it's smaller stories, that's why I really like The Clone Wars. Uh, it, obviously, it had a heavy impact, but it was a side story to the main plot. I love Revenge of the Sith, but I love Clone Wars, because it's a side plot. It's uh, That's when the stories are best, because... Not only do side plots, they don't just have to rely on the uh, the main plot of the story of Order 66, but they they get to rely on uh, their own sort of one. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything if anyone hasn't seen Clone Wars, but you know what I mean if it, uh, with Season 7? No, si Season 6? I think it was Season 6. Uh, or it could be Season 7. Uh, uh, and yeah, uh, I like that. Uh, I really wish we had, uh, I know there's a TV show coming out, Bad Batch, but I really wish we had a film which was based on uh, a clone. Uh, something something I really wanted EA or DICE to do, uh, especially with Battlefront 2 because it was the perspective of someone going in, uh, going in is I wanted someone, a re we start as a regular person and throughout it, I, I, I can't see why they couldn't throughout it. You're building up your rank. Uh, you're building up your reputation throughout the story. And something I really wanted them to do was... Uh, it didn't have to be this cin cinematic sort of thing. It could be... In we can do side quests. Uh, to gain points for reputation. And then reputation... You can have a squad with you. You know what I mean? I think if they focus more on areas like that, they could have done better. But, you know, it's... It, the problem I have with DICE is it's not the company to do that. And it's hard. It's not hard because they they do it the, to themselves. They knew they knew with uh about Battlefront 1. They knew they knew what they were doing. They it, it, it happens all the time with EA. Uh so many games. They put a paywall over it. Uh you see I'm tired of. For me, I'm quite an oldie. I'm. I, I like. I. I don't mind it when you're better at someone because you've leveled up. I mean, like, look at Call of Duty. But uh, I don't like pay to win. It. It doesn't feel earned. Uh, I know that people obviously got money and they go, "Oh, I can pay my way to be better than you." That's why I usually hate phone games because it's usually pay to win, and. Uh, I'm not all about that. Uh, it, the only time I'll have like a game, something I'll probably have a game where it's single player for me. I only go for single player. Someone was set, sent me a message saying, "Oh, you should try that Call of Duty multiplayer," and I was like, "No, no, it'll 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 definitely be a pay to win. No doubt, people will be buying loot boxes and all that." Here's a fact for you. I don't know if it was 2019 FIFA or 2020 FIFA, but uh, I think it was 2019. They earned half a billion dollars through uh, no cards and all that money. That that that's probably I don't know if that's more sales, but that it's got to be more sales than uh, the actual game. So let's just take that into. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. It's like GTA. Uh, this could have been a, that can be a whole topic for another thing. But you, you know what I mean. So I hate my bottom thing was I hate pay to win. 
Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. His walk looks funny. It's an Ewok. <laughs> Get out of here. Go on. Move it. Now, what you telling me? You telling me? <laughs> Oh man, you're dead. You're dead. Ah, oh, bad day for you. All oh, them shots he missed. What the hell? I mean, no one thinks about that, but they could have actually been. Uh, I swear down, they wouldn't te uh, like Luke and all that. So, yeah. See, I will always be for Empire. I love Jedi and all that, but I love I love Empire. I feel like the Resistance is a terrorism group. Uh, I know Empire do bad things. Uh. I don't know. I feel like Empire just put justice and order into the galaxy. That's why I'll always be an Empire fan. I feel like the Resistance... Look, a million... So many people cheered when the Death Star blows up, but then you think about it. I know they blew up a pl planet, but that was... That, that, that was bad, but it was to bring stop the Resistance, even though they shouldn't be blowing up planets. But then, you, but then the then the uh, resistance does the same thing by blowing up the Death Star, which don't forget probably has millions of people on. Uh, you depends how big or whatever how many people you need it on. I don't know. It could have been a billion because definitely a billion. It has to be a billion, right? The amount of people you need to operate that system. That system, as well as sleep with recruitments and all that, yeah, it's got, it's got to be. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like I said, and comment the video that you want me to react to. But with that, guys, I'll see you to the next. Bye. Woo -hoo.